hello everyone in this video we are going to learn equations which are not exact to begin with but they can be reduced to exact in the previous video we had learned what exact differential equations are and the technique of solving them how to identify exactness and then if exact how to solve them such equations were discussed in the previous video in this video we are going to begin with equations which will not be exact to begin with but we can do something to make them exact for that there's a term called integrating factor which we are going to discuss here now integrating factors for non exact differential equations are those factors with which when we multiply the non exact differential equations they become exact so factors which on multiplication make a non exact differential equation exact are called integrating factors and this video is going to intend towards finding out integrating factors only so factors which on multiplication make a non exact differential equation exact are called integrating factors so for short we will call them as ifs now in this video we are going to do the first rule for finding integrating factors which will be of the form x to the power p y to the power q for some suitable power p and suitable power q now suppose let's understand this uh, you know method of finding an integrating factor of the form x to power p y to power q and when does this work well let's start with the discussion suppose you have the differential equation first order first degree differential equation m dx plus n dy equal to 0 and you know that this is non exact suppose there is a differential equation first order first degree which you have put in this form and you know that it's non-exact how do we know that it's non-exact there's a criteria for testing exactness if del m by del y the partial derivative of m with respect to y does not match with the partial derivative of n with respect to x then the equation is a non-exact differential equation now sometimes what happens is that the equation is non-exact but we can multiply the equation throughout by a suitable expression involving x and y such that on multiplication the resultant equation becomes exact and that is the intention of this video we are going to learn certain rules of finding integrating factors that means factors or expressions which on multiplication can make a non-exact differential equation exact the first rule for finding such integrating factors is a rule which works really well if your m and n are functions of uh, you know they are polynomials in x and y suppose m and n these functions involve only powers of x and y and the equation to begin with is non-exact then you can try an integrating factor of the form x to power p y to power q that means you can multiply the equation throughout by a suitable power of x times a suitable power of y and then make it exact and once it is exact we know how to solve it because we learned that procedure in the previous video so let me explain this technique of finding an integrating factor of the form x to power p y to power q through an example suppose the given equation is this 3y plus 4xy square dx plus 2x plus 3x square y dy equal to 0 we can see that this equation uh, has this as m m dx when we compare it with the standard form it's m dx plus n dy so this expression is n now let's see whether the given equation is exact or not we know the criterion for exactness which says that find out the partial derivative of m with respect to y let's differentiate this partially with respect to y that means treating x as a constant you have to differentiate so this will be 3 4x is like a constant so you are differentiating y squared that makes it 8xy that's your del m by del y let's do del n by del x now what will be del n by del x when we differentiate this partially with respect to x we get a 2 from here and from here 3y is like a constant so it becomes 6xy and we can see that these two partial derivatives are not equal and once they are not equal the deduction that is immediate from here because this is the criterion for exactness equality of partial derivatives is a criterion which helps us to decide exactness of a differential equation 
if these two partial derivatives are equal then the equation is exact and if the partial derivatives are not equal then the equation is non-exact so the given equation is non-exact now the point which we are learning here in this video is what to do if the given equation is non-exact is there a way of making it exact somehow the answer to this question is yes to a certain number of problems. Do not think that every non-exact differential equation can be made exact through some technique. But yes, there do exist some nice ones which on multiplication by a suitable power of x and a suitable power of y start behaving well. By behaving well, I mean that they start... Uh, you know, behave, they, they fall in the exact category. So since M and N are involving powers of X and Y only in this question, so it makes sense to try an integrating factor of the form a suitable power of X, let's say X to power P and times a suitable power of Y, let's say Y to the power Q, where the suitability will depend on making this exact. Sorry, I missed out this non here. The given equation is non-exact let's multiply this integrating factor throughout with this differential equation let's copy the differential equation down the given differential equation is the given equation is 3y plus 4xy square dx plus 2x plus 3x square y dy so this is the given equation since we are trying an integrating factor of the form x to power p y to power q so this is an integrating factor that means when you multiply this equation throughout by x to power p y to power q it should become become exact so let's multiply multiplying by x to power y to power x to power p y to power q the new equation is the given equation is going to take this form 3 I am multiplying by x to power p so the first term becomes x to power p y to power q and there is one y already here so that makes it y to power q plus 1 this term on multiplication with x to power p y to power q becomes this now let's multiply the second term when I multiply this with x to power p 1x is already there so that makes it p plus 1 and here you get y 2 plus q that's your new m m dx Let's see what your n becomes. The new n is 2 x to power p plus 1 y to power q plus 3 x to power 2 plus p y to power q plus 1 dy equal to 0. Now since you are saying that this you are trying an integrating factor of the form that means when multiplied by x to power y to power x to power p y to power q we are expecting the equation to be exact. Now for exactness what is the criteria? For exactness of this differential equation, what do we want? We want the partial derivative of this with respect to, because this is my new m. So the partial derivative of m with respect to y. So let's differentiate this partially with respect to y. What does uh, this give us? When we differentiate partially with respect to y, 3x to power p is like a constant. So this is what we get. That's the partial derivative of the first term with respect to y. Now let's differentiate this partially with respect to y. So that becomes 4, 2 plus q comes out. x to power p plus 1 is like a constant and here you have q plus 1. Right? So this is the partial derivative of your new m with respect to y. This should be equal to what? It should be equal to the partial derivative of the new n with respect to x. So let's differentiate this partially with respect to x. It gives me... 2p plus 1 x to power p y to power q plus we are differentiating this partially with respect to x so 3 y to power q plus 1 is like a constant and you just do a differentiation with respect to x and land into this equality so for exactness this should happen you should have equality of partial derivatives for the new m and new n which you have got after multiplying by x to power p y to power q now there are two expressions involving powers of x and y on both the sides and you are claiming that these should be equal now these two expressions are equal if the coefficients of the like powers are the same now here look at the power x to power p y to power q the coefficient of x to power p y to power q happens to be 3 q plus 1 and here the coefficient of x to power p y to power q happens to be 2 p plus 1 if these two expressions are equal you are forced to have equality of the coefficients of like terms similarly this term 
x to power p plus 1 by to power q plus 1 and here you have x to power p plus 1 by to power q plus 1 that means these two will be equal only when the coefficients are the same so that imposes one more constraint on p and q like this now you can see that these are two equations in two unknowns i can simplify it a little bit 3q minus 2p is 2 minus 3 that makes it minus 1 here and here you have 4q minus 3p is 6 minus 8 so that's a minus 2 here so these are two equations in two unknowns you can see p and q you can solve for p and q the normal way how would you do that you will multiply this by 3 you will multiply this by 2 and then subtract and it's easy to see that your q will be 1 and uh, once q is 1 your p will be uh, 2 so that can be easily seen two equations two variables easy to solve for p and q so that means once you impose the criterion for exactness the choice for p and q boiled down to p equal to 2 and q equal to 1 that means the integrating factor that you started with you assume that the integrating factor is x to power p y to power q that means the integrating factor should be x to power p has taken the value 2 and y to power q so that means x square y is the integrating factor that we were looking for we tried a general power of x times a general power of y and we imposed exactness on the new equation and that exactness criterion landed to the fixed choice p equal to 2 q equal to 1 telling us that x square y is going to serve as an integrating factor what does that mean that if you multiply the given equation throughout by x square y the new equation will be exact and you can solve it to get the solution easily because we know how to solve exact equations therefore the given equation becomes we are multiplying throughout by x square y so this equation is to be multiplied throughout by x square y so that makes it 3 x square y square plus 4 x cube y cube so let me write that equation again the given equation becomes we are multiplying by x square y what are we multiplying it with the given equation was 3 y plus 4 x y square dx plus 2 x plus 3 x square y dy equal to 0 that was the equation i have multiplied it with the final integrating factor which we obtained after imposing exactness criterion so that means your new m becomes this becomes 3 x square y square plus 4 x cube y cube dx that's the new m now and this becomes 2 x cube y plus 3 x 4 y square dy equal to 0 now if you want for your own satisfaction you can check that this equation is exact you do have equality of partial derivatives but i think it's redundant because e only after imposing the exactness criterion you get that fixed choice for p and q so you do not have to verify it again it will surely be exact because the choice of p and q was obtained only after assuming that the equation is exact so that choice is surely going to make it exact which is an exact differential equation and we know how to solve it therefore the solution as we discussed in the previous video is given by you integrate this with respect to x treating y as a constant if y is a constant 3 y square is like a constant you are integrating x square so that makes it x cube by 3 plus you integrate this now with respect to x treating y as a constant so 4 y cube is like a constant and you integrate x cube that gives you this plus you have to integrate n star by n star we mean terms of n not involving x now you can see that this term involves x this term involves x so basically n star is 0 and hence the integral is just a constant and according to the procedure the integral of m with respect to x treating y as a constant plus integral of n star with respect to y is equal to c is the solution if we want we can cancel out this obviously so the general solution looks like x cube y square plus x 4 y cube equal to c and that's how we solve equations which were 
not exact to begin with but luckily they were involving powers of x and y so we tried an integrating factor of the form x to power p y to power q and it really worked well the imposition of exactness criterion on the new equation forced p to be equal to 2 and q to be equal to 1 in this question and hence you did uh, you know obtain an integrating factor that means you did obtain an expression with which you multiply the given non exact equation and make it exact and this was all about uh, finding integrating factors of the form x to power p y to power q for non exact differential equations as i told you this is one of the rules of making non exact equations exact we are going to learn a couple of more rules of uh, you know finding integrating factors which do not look like powers of x and y but they have a different format uh, so that's uh, going to be uh, taken up in the subsequent videos for now thank you so much for watching stay tuned